girls flying in the night was such a beautiful experience we believe this might have been venezuela but whatever country it was it was absolutely stunning to see all of the lights from above it was so so pretty i was just in awe and here we saw all of the boats lining up to pass through the panama canal it was one of the things how we really wanted to see and i'm so glad that we did now we touched down in Panama at 6.40 but that is Trinidad time in Panama time it's an hour behind so that was 5.40 that's why it was still a little bit dark outside y'all whatever you do if you ever come to the Panama airport bring food or like just buy something really really inexpensive we went to one of the breakfast places in the airport so ridiculously expensive we spent 30 us 30 us on a breakfast and it was a basic sandwich <laughs> so do yourself a favor and i don't know go buy subway or something that has more of a standard pricing wish we had done that but anyways we had a pretty long layover maybe like three hours so it was catching up on some sleep and getting ready to head on to flight number two off to cancun i think we left the airport maybe like around after nine minutes to ten and scheduled to land in cancun at minutes to one i think the flight was like a three and a half hour flight kind of thing so yeah crazy busy and two other flights landed behind us and had a ton of people so thankfully we landed when we did too many people too many things going on for me to vlog in the airport so you guys will see us when we get to our ride and coincidentally enough our driver's name was Trinidad <laughs> we actually told him we're from a country called Trinidad he was like really <laughs> so your name is Clark yep Okay. Tu esposa es? Uh, uh, you don't understand me? No. Clark as well. <laughs> I okay. think you asked if his spouse is. You're right, like, I say your, your name is Clark and your wife is? Oh, yeah. Clark yeah, is Tanisha. Tanisha Clark. Tanisha? Yeah. Tanisha Clark? Yeah. Oh. Sad. Oh. Like, what was it supposed to be this for? 
We don't know? Oh, okay. They just made the building, uh, but they never have any evidence oh. there. You know, they don't have nothing. Yeah. Right here, Kubu Uh huh. Over there, they have like a uh, events like As you walk in, you have the closet, and it's a pretty decent sized closet with a lot of hangers so that you can hang up all of your stuff. There's a safe to keep all of your personal items safe, <laughs> no pun intended, an iron and an ironing board <laughs> so that you could make sure your clothes are right. Um, the bathroom is a pretty decent sized shower, never had any problems with the bathroom. Hot water was always hot, the pressure was always good bathrooms are always clean the housekeeping staff made sure that everything was clean and maintained every single day they passed through they could see me in the mirror <laughs> and I'm just showing you guys what the bathroom looks like it's a pretty standard bathroom so we actually had to put a sign by the sink to remind us not to drink the water here in Cancun hubby actually forgot and that's what initiated the sign and he had a little bit of tummy troubles but they actually do have a warning don't drink the Cancun water it is not potable water don't do it you don't end up feeling sick on your vacation but back to the bathroom pretty simple double sinks that helped us out a lot because I had a lot of makeup and stuff to spread all over the place of course you just have your basic toilet in the corner there and I mean there's nothing crazy to see so now we're going into the room itself and it's just a basic room we had a king size bed with two nightstands on either side pretty standard stuff um, with the telephone um, and they always had like these animal towel animals on the bed but we had already slept <laughs> so it they did make over new ones every day but i kept forgetting to like get footage of it sorry guys <laughs> but they were always really nicely decorated towel animals on the bed and there's the tv of course the dresser and then there's a little sitting area in case you wanted to eat or whatever you wanted to do there and y'all <laughs> this hotel this chain of hotels has alcohol dispensers in the room there is tequila rum vodka and gin all inclusive it is included in the price the mini bar is also included no hidden fees or anything there is canada dry there is dosi keys which is a beer there is coke or pepsi seven up diet coke they provide water and like i said everything is included in the price already no hidden fees which was like my favorite part so anytime you wanted a little shot shot you can go to your dispenser in your room and this is our little balcony it was kind of small but like i said we don't generally stay in the room much when you go to a hotel i would have preferred a better view when we booked i would have requested a room up to the top in the middle of the hotel to get a better view of the pool and the ocean we didn't get that but that's fine like i said we don't stay in the room generally so this is fine 
and I'm just showing you guys the view of the lobby from on top. The hotel that we stayed at, which is Rio Caribe, also has like six bars, I believe, and four restaurants. So you never really had to like push or rush or feel like clustered to try to get a drink or food. And this is us just heading down to the pool, not to the pool, we are going to get a drink, one, going to get lunch because we had just landed and we were hungry as hell. <laughs> and then we are going to the beach. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen me post pictures in this outfit already. Loved them. <laughs> so if you'd like to see those pictures, definitely check me out on Instagram. But yeah, we're just heading down to the beach. But before that, we decided to stop in the variety store directly next door to the hotel to get some sanitizer because I mean COVID so we needed to get restocked on some of our hand sanitizer and here we are back at the pool there are three four pools a kiddie pool and no there are three pools sorry a kiddie pool the bigger pool where the swimmer bar is and then there is a more secluded pool out by the pizza area where there's another bar across there I don't think I got footage of that pool but this is the main pool where all of the activities would take place during the day and that's you guys would that. see the swimmer portion of the bar in a second and that's where you could have gone and get your drinks while you're in the pool Of course you can't come to Mexico and not have a margarita. On second thought, I really should have gotten a margarita from like an actual authentic Mexican restaurant. My bad. Because <laughs> the one at the hotel wasn't the best I'm sure. They would have made it like to all inclusive hotel standards. So maybe next time I'm back in Mexico I will try an authentic margarita from an authentic like bar. But this one wasn't bad. It was a little bit sour for my taste and definitely not nearly as strong as it would be if you bought it from a bar. <laughs> so the background story behind this joke is that when we were doing research about this hotel we came across this couple and one of the girl in the couple would always be like hey baby cheers baby <laughs> so I had to do that now that we we're actually here ourselves and y'all we just actually kick back and relax and enjoy the rest of the time here went in the pool in the water for maybe like a little bit but for the most part we just relaxed and unwind from the flight <laughs> <laughs> and later the night of course we had to go for dinner so that is what you're seeing here we're just walking down to the restaurant for dinner actually had a beach party the Friday night we landed it was pretty fun I had so so much fun just dancing I mean it wasn't necessarily my vibe some of the music was kind of like EDM but for the most part I had so much fun the hotel always made sure that there was entertainment every single night
And you all, we were so hyped after that party that we decided we wanted to go out on the town. But the taxi driver who was outside the hotel wanted to charge us 300 pesos to for like a five minute drive. And we were like, no sir. And we decided to try to get there ourselves. But when we watched the time and realized we had such an early morning, we just decided, you know what? We'll call it a night and head back to the hotel. So that's what we did. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one for day two. Thank you.